So about one month later, I finally decided to do my next Q&A. I know I said I'd do one of these every single Sunday, but I just haven't got around with it. And uh, now, hopefully, I will start doing these every Sunday. So this is the first Q&A in a while, and I've got a ton of questions from you guys on Twitter, and I'm going to go through them now. The first question is, if you could visit anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? Now, this is a huge question. There's so many awesome places in the world I kind of want to visit. But one of the places I really want to visit the most is Africa. The reason for that is, first of all, there's like loads of animals in Africa that are freaking awesome elephants, lions, and to go on one of those tours on a prop, but not like in a zoo or something, because we have Longley here, which you kind of drive through and you see all these awesome animals. To actually see them in the wild would be amazing. Obviously, it's super hot in Africa, um, and there's just amazing places there to visit. My parents, actually my mum, used to live in Africa when she was really little. She's not African, she was British, but they went to Africa, uh, and she used to live there, and I'd love to go visit all those places where you, she used to live, because it's a completely different world over there, and it's just a place that I've always wanted to go. Question number two is, what is your most valued memory ever. This one is pretty much impossible to say. I value every memory of my friends, family, uh, my fiance, and even my school life, for example. I value all of those for all different reasons. So there isn't one. I can't put my finger on one. Basically, every memory I have, I value because it teaches you something, makes you a better person, or makes you learn from your mistakes. Why did you become a YouTuber? Now, I didn't actually become a YouTuber. I kind of stumbled upon it. Uh, I didn't mean to become a YouTuber. I didn't start my YouTube channel like, hey, I'm going to start doing YouTube and try and come big at it, or whatever. Uh, I used to do YouTube videos when I was really little. I loved getting NES consoles, uh, SNES consoles, Atari 2600 Woodies, all of those kind of stuff. And I would do videos on them. So I'd unbox them. Uh, I would review them, that kind of stuff. And I put them onto YouTube. Sadly, I can't find them. I used to do iPod videos as well on like how to jailbreak an iPhone and stuff like that. And that was actually when I first started doing YouTube. And those videos got about 100,000 views. And I was just like, what is going on? Like, th that's crazy. Uh, and actually, a few years later, I then picked up my channel and I started doing gaming videos only because my last videos had done so well. I was like, oh, I'll just start doing it for a bit of fun. Um, now, I went to a gaming convention and I met Tom Syndicate and I had no idea who he was, but my friend was just like, like in God sense when he saw him. So I was like, oh, this is interesting. He just plays video games. I'm gonna start doing this and uh, yeah, I started doing it. Then people started watching me and people still do watch me. I mean, we're 645,000 subscribers strong, which is amazing. Um, so I didn't mean to do it as a big thing. It was just a bit of fun to pass the time. And luckily we blew up, which was absolutely amazing. How long do you spend on the toilet a day? Yeah, you do get some random questions. Here. I did ask for random questions, but that's definitely the most random one that I've come across so far. How long do you spend on the toilet a day? This is actually kind of funny because um, a few days ago, uh, me and my fiance, we started doing a tea tox thing, which is these, you have tea. Obviously, instead of normal tea, they have good stuff in them and they have stuff to uh, detox your body and stuff because it's going through a little bit of a health craze kind of thing. Uh, and one of the tea bags you take at night actually contains a load of laxatives. So in the next morning, you really need to, um, you need to poop one out. Uh, but usually, I don't know, I might spend, it depends. Because if I'm playing iPhone games on the toilet, if I'm watching telly on the toilet, it's awful. I can happily sit there for like 20 minutes. I mean, I make sure I flush it so it doesn't like smell, but I can happily sit there for about 20 minutes. Who's your celebrity crush? Now, this is obviously always a question uh, asked by everybody. Now, my, I kind of have two celebrity crushes uh, and I know everybody has theirs, so, so it's fine. My two celebrity crushes are Ariana Grande because I think her, I really like her songs. I don't know why. Uh, and I think she's, I think she's awesome. She's absolutely awesome. And I, I don't know why. Charlotte knows that I definitely have a thing for her. So that's always a good thing. At least she knows it. And my second one um, is, what was the question? Celebrity crush. The second one is Margaret. Uh, what's her second name? Let me search it. Margaret Robbie. She's the girl from uh, Wolf of Wall Street. And she's also going to be in that hustle film with Will Smith that's coming out really soon. She is stunning. Have you ever tried a toast sandwich? What the hell is a toast sandwich? So apparently with a toast sandwich, what you do is you get one slice of toast in the middle with two slices of bread around the outside, then salt and pepper to taste. It sounds like the cheapest meal and most disgusting and probably um, not mouth quenching, whatever that is. It's just gonna take up all the moisture from my mouth, but let's give it a go and see what it tastes like. So first things first is we need to toast one piece of bread and we need to keep two pieces of bread as just bread. So once the bread is toasted, wow, that popped high, you put it in between the other two slices of bread and you salt in the middle and pepper. This just sounds disgusting. And put that on and that is it. Sandwich with toast in the middle. I don't know what this is gonna taste like. It's horrible. 
Why would you eat it? My dog wouldn't even eat this. Hey, Maggie. Okay, she would eat it. What happened between you and Clash? Now, I know this is going to be a question that was asked, and it was asked quite a lot. Uh, as you guys may know, there's been some kind of controversy between me and Clash of Clans. I'll leave a link down below showing a full post of kind of my description of it. I don't want to talk about it too much, but uh, basically we're in talks at the moment, uh, and the kind of main thing about it is I might not be able to post any more Clash of Clans videos, which isn't a huge issue. I have 800 Clash of Clans videos on my channel, um, so if you want to go see some now, you know, you've got 800. I doubt you've watched all of them. Uh, but it may be stopping me from doing that just because of a, of a very stupid small reason uh, that I am talking to them about. But if this is true and if this is what they're doing and they are really pushing down in this policy, you'll probably see about 10 YouTubers drop, uh, be dropped by Clash of Clans very, very soon. So I don't know whether they're actually going to follow through this policy with everybody. But if they do, it's going to be a real shame because they're just going to destroy their own YouTube community. But we'll see how it goes. But yeah, for now, I won't be doing Clash of Clans content. Uh, I might be able to pick it up uh, a little bit later in the future. But for now, I won't be. So I will be playing loads of different games. So if you guys want a game uh, that you want me to play on the channel, let me know in the comment section down below. But yeah, there's no hate between me and Supercell. I thank them for everything they did. It's just got into a very bizarre and confusing situation that hopefully will resolve and we will carry on forward. How do you annoy Charlotte? I annoy Charlotte in so many ways. I, I really enjoy annoying her, but not... It, it's hard, because she annoys me, and she enjoys annoying me, and I annoy her. That's why the relationship is so good. But one of the best things that I do to make sure that I annoy her is she likes to argue. So she sometimes argues at me for stuff that I'm like, I don't know why you're arguing at me for. And I have a great way of dealing with arguments with anybody, with her, with friends, family, people on the internet. I stay super calm, like, and I, I go, I do this, I do this really annoying voice. So she might be going, oh, why have you done this? What are you doing that? And I'm just going, look, Charlotte, it's fine. It's not an issue. We can resolve it. If you want to sit down, we'll talk it over and we can figure out. And then she'll stop talking to me like this. Why have you done this? You know, why is the table not clean? I'm very sorry. I didn't realize I hadn't cleaned the table. I, I'll go clean it for you now if you want to. That's not the point. This is, and that's how I do it. And it really annoys her so, so much. And it annoys so many other people as well. Uh, because I feel the best way, if anyone's trying to have an argument with you, if somebody's trying to hate on you or any reason, just be super nice. That's all I do is like, just be nice to people. That's, and if everybody's nice to each other, then you won't have these issues. Um, but sadly, some people aren't like that. So I'm just super nice to her uh, and that annoys her when she's arguing with me. And it annoys a lot of other people as well when they're trying to argue with me. And I'm kind of like, it's not a problem. It's cool. What is your plan in life? What is my plan in life? I, I don't really have a plan in life. Whenever anyone says that, I'm like, you can never tell the future. You never know what's going to happen. Um, but what I would love to do is obviously I'd love to get my own house. Nothing big. I prefer a small house with like loads of cool stuff in it rather than like a big house that's maybe old and not run down, but not nice stuff in it, if that makes sense. So I'd prefer a small house, super modern, all that kind of stuff. Um, obviously to be married with Charlotte, have a couple of kids. Uh, have a nice job doing what I do. I mean, if you if YouTube's my job in 10 years, that's amazing, but I doubt it will be. Um, but I, I don't know what I want to do for work. I'm very open-minded. I just want to stay and just like run through life happily. I don't have anything that I need to do this. I need to do this. I must own this. Uh, I'm just kind of like, whatever you get, you get. So I'm kind of moving forward. One thing I really would, would love to do in my life is to travel. Now, not travel like backpacking. I hate doing that kind of stuff. Like I want to go see places, but I don't want to have to trek some Somewhere and then sleep in a campsite and all that kind of stuff. I want to do it with a little bit of um, mod cons, like a shower, for example. So I'd love to do that in my life as well, which is travel everywhere and see everywhere. Uh, but if I had a choice, what would I like to do for the rest of my life? I'd just like to be on holiday the whole time. Who would? What other YouTubers do you watch? Now, I don't really watch many YouTubers. I don't have enough time to watch YouTubers uh, doing their videos, doing gaming videos, etc, etc. Uh, the only people, okay, the only person I really watch every single video, as soon as he puts a video up, I will go and watch it, even if I'm not interested in that at all, is MKBHD. I think his name's Marcus Brownie. Uh, I watch all of his videos. They're tech videos, they're reviews, they're kind of cool stuff like this, that, and the other. I think he's a really cool person. He's really relaxed. He's really calm. He's nice to watch. Uh, and his content is fabulous, and I'm a real tech geek. I love tech, uh, I love gadgets, I love cars, I love all that kind of stuff, and he posts that content, and I love it. So he's the guy that I watch every time. If you haven't seen him, 
Like, go see him. You've got to go check it out. Uh, but otherwise, I don't really watch many other things. I watch pranks. Uh, prank videos are good fun. I watch vlogs. I watch in real life stuff. So, I do follow quite a lot of YouTubers just because they're friends and I follow them because, well, they're friends. I want to be a subscriber and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and the most videos I watch if they put one up is in real life videos. So, for example, let's say, um, oh, Mini Lad, for example, moved to America. Uh, last week and he did a moving video. I watched that. I don't watch his like um, Gmod videos I know they're hilariously funny, uh, but I don't I don't watch them because I don't have time to but as soon as he put like Oh, I'm moving to America video up. I was like I've got to watch that because I'm interested to see what he's doing uh, But not not the gaming side more like in real life stuff So yeah, it's more it's more vlogs and people videos rather than gaming videos and that about wraps it up for the Q&A guys I'll hopefully be doing one of these next Sunday if you want to see that hit the like button down below Let's see if we can get this over Four likes times a thousand. Four thousand likes would be absolutely amazing. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, comment down below any Q&A questions you want for the next one. And of course, any games you want me to play this week. But until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.